Jianbing, a simple breakfast treat with origins in the Shandong province, is served throughout China every morning and has been my favorite Chinese street food ever since I moved to China. From waiting in a queue, to watching a chef work their magic, to finally taking that first delicious bite, it's all part of the Jianbing experience. In the early hours of the morning when you spot a vendor, you can always expect to see a long line of hungry commuters waiting for their turn to enjoy a freshly prepared Jian Bing. Then the best part? Watching the vendor do what they do best. First, a mixture of wheat flour and water is evenly spread over the hot iron griddle, followed by an egg. Then the greens, a mixture of scallions, cilantro, and diced mustard pickles. <laughs> now time for the sauces. Poison sauce and spicy la jiao lay the foundation for the bao cui, a crunchy fried cracker. And then after a quick fold and a cut, this freshly prepared Jian Bing is ready. Folks, today I'm getting back to my grassroots. I used to live in the Shandong province, and this is a street breakfast food that originates from the Shandong province. This uh, crispy cracker inside of here it gives it this nice crispy crunch, along with the softness of this doughy pancake around it. The texture is just amazing. That's why it's my favorite Chinese street food. My guess is to why there's always a line of people that want to eat jambing. It's cheap. No matter what, it's always going to be made fresh. It only takes about a minute to cook and, folks, it's delicious. So enough talking about jambing. It's time to eat it. Mm. Legend has it that 2,000 years ago in the Shandong province, soldiers lost their walks and were struggling to cook their food. Chancellor Zhuge Liang, an accomplished military strategist, ordered the men to cook a thin layer of wheat flour and water over flat copper griddles and shields and hold it over the fire. As a result, morale was boosted and the soldiers went on to win their next battle. And thus, Jianbing was born. This is for all the soldiers out there fighting on behalf of Jianbing. I salute you. Really simple street food, really almost always tastes the same wherever you get it, very consistently cooked wherever you are in China. The hoisin sauce in there really gives it a nice uh, sweet, salty taste. There's la jiao spicy sauce to give it a little bit of a kick. The pickled mustard greens also add a nice texture, nice crunchiness and saltiness in there. The eggs give it a nice savory flavor, make it nice and filling. And then the cilantro, of course, adds to the freshness. Just all around a dynamic yet simple, delicious flavor. Hey you! Do you want to see more videos from Monkey Abroad? Whether it's the Traveling for $20 a Day series or just some local street food videos, now's your chance to get involved with my channel and help support me so I can produce more content. I've recently started an account on Patreon, which is a website that allows fans to securely support content creators. If you pledge $1 per video, that'll give me some support so that I can travel, have time to film and produce more of these videos that you want to see. What's in it for you? Well, if you pledge $1 and become an official monkey, I'll list your name in the credits of my next video. You can click here to visit my Patreon page and become an official monkey by pledging a dollar, or click below in the link in the description. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching and for supporting the Monkey Abroad channel. <laughs>